Hey fellas, what's up? It's Beegs. Hope y'all been good. I know it's been like three weeks to a month since I've uploaded a Street Fighter 6 video. I apologize for that. I just needed like a little break from the game and from everything. Um, but yeah, it was getting on my nerves. It was tilting me and uh, yeah, mental health is important. Anyway, <clears throat> after that's out of the way, I want to talk about uh, what this video is going to be about. Today we are going to talk about Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui, whatever you want to fucking call it. Feng Shui Engine, right? FSE for short. Um, a lot of people requested I do a Feng Shui Engine tutorial after my uh, Unranked 2 Diamond tutorial. And I originally wasn't going to do this so soon after making that tutorial, that guide. But since it did so well, I mean, I, I thank you guys so much, by the way, for blessing me with that. You guys did awesome. I got, that got more support than I ever could have imagined. So thank you guys on that. I'm, I'm really glad you, you, you like it and you appreciate it. Um, but yeah, since I got so much support, I decided, hey, what would it hurt to do a beginner's, you know, quick Feng Shui engine guide? And um, to start off, I want to say I'm going to break this tutorial into three separate parts, right? So <clears throat> it's going to be combos, pressure, and safe jumps. Those are going to be the three sections I'm going to talk about. Keep in mind, this is not going to be a super in-depth guide. This is just going to be a beginner's guide to get you started with Feng Shui Engine. And then you can learn from watching my, you know, gameplay videos or watching, like, better jury players, like, you know, uh, Just a Kid or Fox Rain or any of those guys. You can watch what they do with Feng Shui Engine and then copy them. This is just to get you started and get you understanding how Feng Shui Engine works. Alright, to start off, I'm going to start off with everybody's favorite category, Feng Shui Engine Combos. Now, before I go into this, I want to preface by saying um, I'm going to talk about how well, the best way to activate Feng Shui Engine, right? Um, the most simple way to activate into Feng Shui Engine would be off of a stand medium punch into stand or crouch into crouch medium punch, right? So it would be like this, right? Just like that, okay? So um, you can do it off of that. You can do it off of low forward. You can do it off of stand fierce, right? But the easiest way that I find is to do it off of uh, stand medium punch into crouch medium punch. So um, whatever you're best at. Remember, you can cancel in the Feng Shui Engine off of any special cancelable button. Um, but I use Stand Medium Punch and Crouch jet, or crouch Medium Punch the most. Alright, so combos. Like I said, this is everybody's favorite section. So everybody loves the cool, super long combos of Feng Shui Engine. And yes, those are amazing. But trust me, you guys do not need those right now if you're just starting out. Um, honestly, you don't really need those at all. Um, I've done really well with just very simple combos given I do do very advanced stuff sometimes but a lot of times the simple shit is always the most successful so I'm going to start off with the simple shit and then I will go into slightly more advanced stuff I do not want this video to be like 40 minutes long I want this to be quick 20 30 minute video so let's get it let's start off so your first combo you're going to want to do right off of any Feng Shui con or activation is one that has the most corner carry or some of the most corner carry without spending any of your drive meter, okay? So let's say we're mid-screen here, right? You get an activation, this will take them all the way to the corner, right? So I'll do it real quick, and I will put the notation on the screen. Now, as you can see, oh, I don't know why she's deeping. As you can see, um, I got her from mid-screen all the way to the corner. I forgot to add, if you hold down the Feng Shui Engine button, or if you hold down a punch button after activating Feng Shui Engine, it will dash you, okay? And after this dash hit, you can always start your combo, right? I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it just really fast. Um, off of your activation, whatever your activation button may be, whether it's Stand Fierce, you know, this and this, or this, um, you want to hold down the punch button, go into low forward after your dash. So low forward, right? Off of your dash in, you want to go from low forward to stand medium punch, right? And you have to be fast. Yeah, your button, your hands have to be fast here, okay? Your fingers. Uh, low forward into stand medium punch, right? Into back heavy kick. Only the first hit of back heavy kick, right? You don't want to do two because it'll knock her down to the ground, right? So the first hit of back heavy kick and then down fierce. So it should look something like this, right? And the cool part about Fang Shui Engine is you can jump cancel down fierce um, if it knocks them into the air, see? See what I'm saying? So, after you down fierce, you want to hold up on your controller. So, just like this. And to keep it simple, you want to do a jump punch, um, jump medium punch, and a jump medium kick. So, it'll be like this. Remember, jump 
light punch, jump medium punch, and jump medium kick. Okay? And then after that, you want to end with a dive kick. Do not, do not smash it out like this, okay? Um, you can mash it out if you're this far. It'll take him way farther if you do end up doing the the follow-up on the dive kick. See how much farther it takes them. But if you're mid-screen, there's no there's no need to do this, right? And I'll talk about why that's bad to do it at mid-screen after, okay? So that's your first combo, right? Uh, this is a very simple combo. Um, once you master this, pretty much um, can move on to the next ones, okay? So, maybe you can't get them into the corner, right? Maybe you can't get them into the corner. Maybe you're in the corner, right? <clears throat> so, um, that means you can go ahead and do something like this. Um, this requires one stock. As you can see, um, it gets good damage, good corner carry. 30% um, damage is not bad and uh, leaves you full screen so you can grab another stock afterwards. Stand medium punch, into stand medium kick, into stand roundhouse, into stand fierce, into quarter circle forward heavy kick, into heavy DP. So it'll look like this. It has to be heavy DP. It cannot be EX DP. It cannot be light DP. It cannot be medium DP. It has to be heavy DP. That's your next combo. Right? I like to use this combo um, anytime that I don't think I can get the corner. Okay? Um... So yeah, about like anywhere from like here, like in this area where I'm my back to the wall like this, I typically like to use this combo when I'm about here because the carry is really good and it's a get out of the corner tool, right? Look how much farther it takes them. I like to use that often. Um, but yeah, my, I won't lie to you, my most used one is definitely this. Okay. So those are the two mid-screen combos that I use the most for beginners. Now, I'm going to teach you one advanced combo, okay? One advanced combo, and I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to overload. If you guys want more advanced combos, maybe I'll do an advanced Feng Shui engine guide in the future, or you can learn from other people. So, this one takes a little bit of practice. Um, so, off your activation, you want to forward heavy punch. So, it'll look like this. You don't want to hold your... For this one, you don't want to hold down your dash button, okay? You don't want to hold down a punch button after you activate. So, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. You want to do this. Okay, so the way this combo works, right, right before she's done doing the Feng Shui activation and or the Feng Shui activation animation like that, right at the end of it, you want to input forward heavy punch, right? If you look at my inputs on the left side, you're going to see I input it before it even ends. See? So before the animation even ends, right before it ends, I input. See? I don't wait for it to end. I wait right before it ends. Does that make sense? And near near her stand, heavy punch will come out. You see? So the way this combo works is if you have a stock, you don't need to spend meter. If you don't have a stock, you need to spend meter for this, okay? So, what I mean by that is, as you can see, if I have a stock, I go right into quarter circle forward medium kick, like this, you see? If I don't have a stock, right? This won't combo after. See, I don't get a combo after that. But if I do have a stock, I do have a stock as you can see it combos so after that after that's done right um, if you don't have a stock remember you have to go into the EX version of the flip kick just like this okay and then it will combo that's only if you don't have a stock if you have a stock you can use it instead of using drive meter okay so the combo looks something like this Something like that. Or if you don't want to end it with a stock, if you don't want to, if you don't have any more, if you don't have any extra stocks, you can always end it with like this. You can always end it like that. This combo is a little bit more advanced because it's kind of it, it's a timing thing to, to link stand me, stand light kick into forward medium punch. So again, I'm gonna slow it down for you because this one's a little bit more advanced. I'm going to walk you through this one step by step, right? So, after activation, after, after activation, you go into low forward and a stand medium punch right away. Okay, so right away. Just immediately after you do heavy punch into the flip kick, right? So just like this, you go into low forward and a stand medium punch just like that, okay? 
I'm breaking this into parts for you so it makes it easier. So this is your first part. Just like that. The next part is the hardest part, in my personal opinion, is to link stand short into forward medium punch, which is this. It's timing. You can't just mash this out. You have to wait. This is a timing thing, so you have to time it correctly. So it'll look like this. That's the second part. <clears throat> the third part is basically um, the ender, right? You go into low forward or stand medium kick, whatever is easier for you, right? But I would recommend using low forward because it leads into more combo opportunities. So it should look something like this. That's what it should look like right now for you, okay? And now you have a choice to make, okay? You can either end it like this. You can end it with that, or if you want to go coast to coast, you can do something like this. As you can see, she's in the other corner, from corner to corner, okay? That is the possibilities of Feng Shui Engine, right? And that's just scratching the surface. That's, a, that's just, you know, there's plenty of other ways to do that, but that's the way I use. So, um, hopefully that is good enough for your basic combos at mid-screen. Um, now that that's done, I want to talk about pressure. Pressure is something I am still working on, right? Pressure is still something I am working on, personally. So, I'm not the best at explaining this, but I will do my best, okay? So, remember, with Feng Shui Engine, you can cancel everything into everything, basically. Um, but one thing I will want to say, I should have said this earlier, is you can't cancel mediums and the lights. So, for example, see I'm trying to? You can't cancel it. You can only go up. So what I mean by that is you go from lights to mediums and mediums to heavies. You can't go from heavies to mediums or mediums to lights. So, for example, I can do this. You see how I just did two of each? But I can't do it backwards. See I'm trying to do that? So that's basically, hopefully, hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah. Um, but the way the cool thing about this is is this doesn't account for special moves, okay? So I can cancel this into a DP, right? That doesn't account for special moves. Or I can cancel this into into a, a fireball. Well, the reason I want to talk about why this is so important is fireball pressure, right? And this is really important in continuing your Feng Shui offense. So <clears throat> Feng Shui offense works or pressure works basically the same as your combos in the Feng Shui state. If you do an overhead out of a out of a block string, oh my bad, ever. As you can see, it'll hard knock down. Okay, that's something I want. That's something I wanted to say before we start because that's important. So for an example, one thing, something I really like to do when I'm pressuring with uh, Feng Shui Engine when somebody's blocking is I like to fireball reset. And if you guys don't know what fireball resetting with Jury is, um, I'd recommend you add it to your arsenal. Maybe I'll do another video on that. But basically, you, if you use EX Fireball, you can add it as a specific range, you're plus. And they block it. See how I'm plus six? That is fireball resetting. Okay? So you can do the, feng sh the same thing with Feng Shui Engine. The only difference is, is you can do it from any button instead of just special cancelable buttons. So it can be like this. Something like that, right? And that's fucking sick. That's really sick that you get that much pressure. I think Feng Shui is the second best install in the game behind Blanca's uh, because of the amount of pressure you get. And, and remember, and Burnout, it's even more. So um, if you're ever planning on ending a string, I typically like to end it with heavies. So something like this. And then a stock, a light stock, right? That's like a traditional one that I use. Obviously, it can change. Now, this is where the mix-up comes into play, right? Because most people are going to be sitting there and blocking, right? They're not going to be expecting you to go for an overhead. So, something like this. And you guys saw what I did there, right? I buffered stock. I buffered my store. Now, the cool part about this is, remember, if they block this, so if I do, and then I stock, I store, I'm st it's still, I'm still perfectly safe, right? So the overhead is a great thing to go for because you get a free stock out of it and you have potential to reset pressure off of it. So if I get a knockdown um, and I have Feng Shui activated, uh, my pressure would probably look something like this. I don't have any set pressure, but I remember I free flow a lot. So it would probably look something like this. Right? And that will change depending on if I want to go for an overhead or not. So it can also look something like this.
that's just a prime example of the possibilities with Feng Shui. And that's just, again, scraping the surface. I am not the best at pressuring with it. Um, and keep in mind with Feng Shui, remember, you can cancel it from DI. You can cancel any button in a DI. So, for example, if I do this, uh, I can cancel on a DI. Right. So, again, you can add that to your pressure along with your overheads. So, something like this. Right. You can do something like that. So, basically, um, that's Feng Shui pressure. Um, there's not really a set way to do it, in my personal opinion. I'm sure other people do it differently, but I kind of free flow it, and I use uh, fireball resets a lot. As long as you understand how Feng Shui works, um, then uh, you can kind of just come up with your own ways to pressure, and I would recommend labbing it. Okay. Um, now, the most important thing when it comes to Feng Shui, in my opinion, is the safe jumps. And this is what makes Feng Shui so fucking good. Okay, so you know that combo I was talking about, those combos I were talking, I was talking about, right? So let's go back to mid screen. Let's have her stop blocking, right? So those combos I was talking about. Let's go back to the very first one I taught you, right? The very first one I taught you. Let's say I get an activation in mid screen. I do something like this, right? Go for my old combo or my first combo, right? And I get him in the corner off of this, right? So. After that, may, many people may not know this, but you actually get a safe jump set up off of this. And this is why I tell you to dive kick, right? Because you land way before them because you're dive kicking to the ground and they're still falling. So I'll do it again. See how much faster you land? You see that? They're still in the air while you're still landing. If you hold up after you land, up forward after you land, you'll see I'll jump, right? So look, I'll jump really early. You see what I'm saying? I land, or I, I can jump before they even start getting up, right? So, if she blocks here, or does anything, she'll get hit. You see what I'm saying? And then I go into my combo again, okay? If she blocks here, as you can see, oh, my bad, let me uh, have her block high only. If she blocks here, If she blocks here, as you can see, I'll still meter her. And after that, guess what? I get my pressure. You see what I'm saying? So, um, this safe jump leads into so many possibilities. And again, guess what? Since this is a safe jump, let's have let's say she wants to DP, right? She doesn't know about the safe jump setup. If she wants to DP here, guess what happens? I block it. But make sure while you're jumping forward, right? I forgot to say this. My, my bad. This is why I'm a bad teacher. When you're jumping forward and you're going for the safe jump, right? At this section, make sure you're holding back the entire time. So look, if you look at my inputs during this, look at my inputs right when I input the uh, the, the forward jump right here. Um, right when, I, Look at the safe jump. I'm holding back the entire time. You see that? I'm holding back the entire time even when I press heavy kick. Make sure you're holding back so if they do wake up with a DP or a super, you block it. Okay, you block it, right? That is very important. Now, the cool part about this save jump is this is a looping save jump, okay? Right? Which basically means you can keep looping this, right? So, basically, if they get hit, right? Let me take her off this. If they keep getting hit and they keep trying to hold up back or they keep trying to press a button, guess what? Guess what happens? If you get any hit in the corner, guess what happens? I'll show you. This goes to the second combo I taught you. As you can see, it just keeps going. Um, if they keep getting hit, it will keep looping and looping and looping. And that was all safe jumps. Now, the cool part about this is, um, is combos differentiate in the corner as they do in mid-screen very, very, very slightly. You know that second combo I taught you in the mid-screen? This one? This one right here? Remember this one? Yeah, you do the same exact combo. The only difference is, is after stand heavy kick you do crouching fierce so you do this and then you jump with it and do the same loop i taught you on the first combo jump light punch jump medium punch jump medium kick into dive kick right and that is the loop it just this
You can just do this over and over and over and over again if they want to keep being fucking idiots and pressing or doing something dumb. And it consistently loops into safe jumps. Now, I want to talk about mix-ups with the safe jumps. Now, the thing about this safe jump is, and safe jumps in general, or frame setups, or frame kills in this game, for example, is parry exists. And that right there is why parry is really annoying and really strong in this game. So let's say this person wants to wake up and parry after I get my safe jump set up. And they can perfect parry you here if they time it correctly. You see what I'm saying? And then you're in the corner, right? Now, if they do that, if they, if you know they're parrying, right, you can empty jump into grab, okay? So, you do the same thing, right? You do the same thing I taught you. You hold, uh, you, you jump forward and hold back the entire time, but you don't input the jump heavy kick. You just empty jump and then grab. So, I'll show you. Just like that. And you start your Feng Shui pressure again. Right? The next thing is, is once you train them to start blocking high, right? This is the best part. This is my favorite part about Feng Shui is the mix-ups in the corner. So you've looped her. Let's say you've looped her maybe twice at this point, right? So uh, she's she's blocking high. You've jumped in. Um, she's blocking high now. She's only blocking high, right? So what you can do is, again, you can empty jump by holding forward and or jump forward and then holding back. And then going for a crouch short. So like this. This is a crouch short. After you land. The second you land, you go for a crouch short. I'll show you what it looks like. This is called an empty jump low. She's blocking high. I land. Guess what? Same scenario. And after that, guess what happens? You get the same loop. She's blocking high because she expects um, a jump in. Right? And she has to block a jumping attack standing. But instead, you're going to go for a empty jump low. And guess what? She's right back in the same exact guessing game. Right? Same exact guessing game. And that is why I think Jury Feng Shui Engine is so fucking absurd. You can mix in so much different shit. And you can keep it simple. You can keep it real simple. And you can go for really simple stuff with Feng Shui. And it's still really effective. And I think that's why Feng Shui is just so broken. Apart from that, um, I don't really have anything else much to show you. I, again, this is a beginner's guide. I don't want to go too too in depth i don't have like 60 hit combos that i do or anything like that i just do the basic stuff combined with some more advanced stuff i don't do any of the crazy crazy shit and you don't need to either i think it's kind of pointless with how strong feng shui is you might as well just master the basics and then learn some cooler shit um and yeah uh i don't think there's really much else to show you um i still i still haven't discovered too much about feng shui i know a decent amount, but I don't know a lot. I'll be honest. I'm barely scratching the surface of this this cool ass super. Anyway, uh, regardless, I hope you guys really really enjoyed this. If you guys want more like this, like I said, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Fucking incredible.